over 60 miles an hour or 60 knot winds. Hello guys, here I am again. Uh, glad you are watching. If you have seen my previous video, you probably understand that it has been a difficult and sad summer. It took me a long time to get back on my feet, but things are a little better now and I want to get back in a journey around the world with this YouTube channel. I have been doing a lot of work on the boat in preparation for my trip over the past few months. And of course, I made footage of that as well. I will show you some of that in the near future. I spent a lot of time this summer at anchor on the Marke Meer. And of course, especially with nice weather, that's always fine. And it has been a lot cheaper at anchor than docking on the port. Because the port fees for a catamaran are high, even here in the Netherlands. And I have to watch my money a bit anyways. Most of it is in this boat. Especially with nice weather, it's very nice at anchor. But of course, it can also rain heavily. In which case, it's a bit less fun. And during the very heavy summer storm Poli, on July the 5th in the Netherlands, then I did look for a port. Uh, I've never experienced anything like it. I saw a winds gust up to 60 knots. My fenders were completely flattened against the Yeti, but fortunately there was no damage. Over 60 miles an hour or 60 knot winds. Other boats in the harbor did not fare as well. I was able to help a little to limit the damage. I'm currently in the south of the Netherlands, waiting for a good weather window to head for the Mediterranean. My plan is to sail first to Brest in France and from there make the, the crossing to Spain. It is autumn now and it is not the best time to cross the Bay of Biscay, so we will just have to see how that goes. But for now, you can first watch the introduction of my new crew member. So, um, big announcement. We have a new crew announcement. Tomorrow uh, he will arrive here on the boat. I'm very excited about it because he will be the first and one of the permanent uh, crew. We only need to get some supplies in the city. We are going towards uh, the city. Uh, we are still on anchor uh, right now because the, the weather is, uh, yeah, basically the weather sucks. Uh, we used the generator a bit to uh, get some of our power back. We're now at 50%. Kind of. Let's see if we can focus here. So let's go on the boat trip. And then uh, my car, which I still have, so. We need to other make some other arrangements. We go shopping. Go with me.
So, that was uh, an experience again because uh, probably need a second. Uh, I don't have one anymore, but uh, need a mortgage for all the stuff for the cat man. Was uh, 250 euros of plastic stuff for cats basically, but I need it like uh, uh, a place where you can shit and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of toys, of course, you need to have toys to play with the kitten. So um, we have a lot of stuff now uh, in the car. Now we need to see if we can get it to the boat, but it is rainy, rainy-ish outside. So let's hope we can find a window that we can go uh, try to uh, have some dry weather while sailing to the boat uh, with the D. So. The next day we pick up my new crew member. His name is Groku and I just immediately promote him to co-captain, so Captain Groku for all of us. For those thinking what a strange name, Groku, like New Hope, it's a name from Star Wars, of which I'm a big fan. A little update around our new passenger here. Went to the store and basically bought everything for cats, for kittens, for cat, I think, hope. Um, so let's see how he, uh, what he thinks of it. Captain, what are you thinking? Captain Groku quickly got used to it and was walking all over the boat the very next day. I also wanted him to get used to the water quickly, but voluntarily he didn't want to go in yet. But of course, after a while, things went wrong and he fell into the water. And as it turns out, Cat can swim very well. He was back on board in no time and I could dry him off. I do have a Cat life jacket for him, but he's still a little small for that one. So far this episode, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. A thumbs up is much appreciated. Uh, I will and I will upload episodes regularly, but no longer at a fixed schedule. Until next time, thank you.